All right, let me go across to retired Justice Mukul Mudgal, sir. All this while, BCCI kept insisting that Gurunath had nothing to do with Chennai Super Kings. Finally, they say he is a team owner. At that, they also accept he was, uh, you know, involved in illegal betting. Uh, thanks largely to your report that the BCCI has been forced to change their stance because, remember, their own panel had given Gurunath a clean chit. So, now do you feel vindicated? Well, uh, I, I don't know whether I'm on a mission so to feel vindicated. I'd only given my report. I'd only given my report when it's, uh, it's for the Honorable Supreme Court to accept it or act on it or reject it, depending on the BCCI uh, objections. Okay, let me try and put the question in a different way, sir. The fact that BCCI has done a U-turn on Gurunath, are you happy that uh, it's finally a step in the right direction? Yeah, in one sense, you can say that. Okay, okay, not saying much there. But, but here's the controversial uh, bit, sir. Despite saying that the case merits action be taken against Chennai Super Kings, the BCCI is also requesting the Supreme Court that they allow BCCI to take the final action. But that is the exact opposite of what you had recommended. How do you react to that, sir? No, we had recommended that Supreme Court to decide it. Now it depends on what the Honorable Supreme Court decides. If they want to impose, they can still do so. And if they want the BCCI to impose, uh, they can direct them to impose. But I, this is not a, something which I can take a call on. This depends on the hearing in the Supreme Court. I believe it's on 25th of March. Well, yes, sir, it is on the 25th. Now, the BCCI in its reply also points to the difference in the two reports, one submitted by you and the other by Niloy Datta, the third member in your panel. So while you say action must be taken against CSK, Mr. Datta says no way of establishing that Gurunath was the owner and hence no action should be taken against CSK. How can there be discrepancies when both of you met the same people, interviewed them at the same time? No, I, I don't think that's correct. Uh, they, we were three members. Each member is entitled to take his own view. It so happened that mine and Mr. Nageshwar Rao's view were identical. And Mr. Datta is entitled to take his view and uh, he's eminently qualified to do so. He uh, has a lot of cricket experience. He's a leading senior counsel. Of course, Mr. Uh, Nageshwar Rao is also a Ranji player and the additional solicitor general of India. But uh, I think uh, in a, in a three-member committee, if one member takes a view, then uh, you can't say that that can't be taken. Right, sir. Now, meanwhile, you must be aware that BCCI has requested the Supreme Court not to make the name of those players public that are in the envelope. I'm sure you must also agree with them because the fact that you also gave those names in a sealed envelope means you didn't want them to be made public either. Yeah, correct. In fact, BCCI is uh, reiterating what we have said in our report. BCCI is reiterating it on the, because we have said that this is unverified information and therefore we would not like to disclose the name. That's why it was given in sealed cover. Frankly, this here the BCCI stand reflects or reiterates what we have said in our report. Right. Finally, sir, I go back to the issue of BCCI requesting that they be allowed to take action against CSK, not the Supreme Court. Uh, but can we expect the BCCI that is headed by a man who is also part owner of CSK to conduct a fair inquiry into matters pertaining to the team? Well, uh, let me say this, that according to me, it's for the Honorable Supreme Court to decide. I, I, am, I have nobody in this matter to take that call. All right, all right. Uh, so I'll let you go there. Uh, as you've been mentioning that you've done your job, now it's up to the Supreme Court to take the final decision.